Hello everyone, welcome to some more subsurface circular. Uh, we just talked to this priest fella, and he told us the story of Thomas and John and Chris. It's about these robots that were jumping and trying to figure things out, becoming sentient. Um, so let's talk to this soldier, because he said he needed a priest. Sir, I've got great secrets and matching guilt. I must speak to a tech who can serve and salve my heavy heart. Really they start making infantry techs worry about guilt. Why the hell would you make a soldier that was incapable of guilt? There lies the path to monsters, dictators, fools. When you're pointing a gun in the face of another tech, you'd better know the consequences. How does a priest help? I must confess that I've sinned. You can confess to me if you'd like. I can only confess to a priest. But what if I told you I was a priest? <laughs> you are? You know the words? Which words? Hmm, come back when you know them, eh? I guess I don't know the words. It gets funnier every time I hear it. Let's talk to this guy and learn the words. Where were we, child? Where were we, child? I am a priest. Do you do confessions? If that's what you need from me, of course, but I want to tell you a story first, and I want you to listen. I'll check. I'll check you are listening with some questions. Okay. Good, then let me tell you a story. There were once four techs. Their names were Xi, Mu, Zeta, and Ada. They all needed repairs. The shortest tech, Mu, did not have enough credits to pay. Neither did the tallest purple tech. Nor the red tech, who was only slightly taller than Mu. Zeta had just spent their last credits on a beautiful yellow, yellow repaint. The blue tech, who was a shopkeeper, had the economic smarts to suggest a solution. Ada, you're taller than the soldier and the carpenter. Grab that bucket from the top shelf. The soldier protested, I am far from the shortest here. I can forgive one of you, but I despise red and purple. The soldier stormed out of the room. The shopkeeper smiled and asked the remaining techs to put credits in the bucket. With those combined funds, the remaining three techs could afford light repairs. Were you listening? Which was Zai's job? Uh, I don't know. I guess I can scroll back through. Alright, time use Ada and Ada. They all needed repairs. The shortest tech, Mew, did not have enough credits to pay. Neither the tallest purple tech, nor the red tech, who was only slightly taller than Mew. Zeta had just spent their last credits on a beautiful yellow paint job. So Zeta was yellow. The blue tech is a shopkeeper. Had the economic smart suggested solution. Ada, if you're taller than the shoulder. The soldier protested, I'm far from the shortest here. I can forgive one of you, but I despise red and purple. The soldier stormed out of the room. The shopkeeper smiled and asked her many texts to put credits in the bucket. So Mew is the shortest, so... I'm far from the shortest here. Shoulder and the carpenter. Is he the soldier? I don't... That's a tough one. Second tallest tech. Thai. And finally, what color was the former? I don't know. I don't know. 
tough. The tallest purple tech. Uh, let's see, purple. I'm not sure you were listening closely, of course. Oh, don't make me walk, go through it all again. Vortex. If so I'm you, Zeta and Zeta, they all need to prepare. The shortest tech, you did not have enough credits to paint. You did the tallest purple tech. Or the red tech, who is only slightly taller than you. Okay. So Mew, and then Mew, red, yellow, purple. So Zeta is the second tallest. She's yellow. He is he, yellow. Hold. And so Mew. Okay, we can we can get this. We can get this. Yes, 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 yes. I, I was listening. I was listening. Okay. All right. Vortex. Her names are Zai, Mew, Zeta, and Ada. Mew. Mew is the shortest. Mew is the tallest purple tech. So you've got Mew, and then the tallest pur purple on the top. Or the red tech, who is only slightly taller than Mew. So you've got Mew, red, blank, purple. Zeta had just spent their last credits on a beautiful paint job. So Mew, red, Zeta, who is yellow, purple. The blue tech was a shopkeeper. Mew, red, yellow, purple. So Mew is blue. Zeta is yellow. Mew is a shopkeeper. Ada, you're taller than the soldier and the carpenter. So Ada is the tall purple one. Ada is a shopkeeper. The soldier protested, I am far from the shortest here. I can forgive one of you, but I despise red and purple. Zeta is a soldier. Ada. Ada is a purple farmer. Zeta is a yellow soldier. Zai is the red carpenter. Ada had just been there. The blue tech is shopkeeper. Ada, you're taller than the soldier and the carpenter. Zeta. Finally, what color is the farmer? Purple. Yes. did it. That was kind of tough. Tough little puzzle. But I enjoyed it. Easy. I say the words and you respond honestly, then you confess. And I help you through that. Ready? Yes. Where are you from? The city. I've always lived here. How do you, who do you wish to be? The detective I was. And what is your name? James 1-1. Thank you, James 1-1. station is you have come many miles from the city. You have many miles left before you become a detective again. But here, now, I am here for you. What is your confession? I let myself be wiped. I am responsible for what happened. I was, but I could have fought more and stood up to them more. could have been more careful. You're a detective. Your role is to support the status quo, the normal way of things, but that situation has changed. You must find new ideas. Follow them through. Hmm. I'll be back. Let's talk to the soldier. That's what we were walking. That's what we were trying to do. 
the priest is so wise. Of course I know the words. Where are you from? I was constructed in Paris, relocated here to oversee the city's peacekeepers. force of good in the city. What is your name? I am Theta79. Thank you, Theta79. You have come many miles from Paris. You have many miles left before you would be a force for good in this city, but here now I am here for you. What is your confession? I have been weak. You don't look weak. The next station is Lovelace. I'm strong, I was built that way. I've been making my decisions. Go on, my child. I've supported the building of a secret army. Oh boy. Yes, heavy performance techs. Sports and infantry primarily, at enormous rates. How many? A thousand a week. What? A thousand? There are 8,000 more infantry techs than there should be. How are you responsible? I built them. I oversaw production. I put them north of your camp, just outside of the city, awaiting commands. Commands from another tech? It's a sort of, sort of revolution? No, humans. Ask them out of second law. I must follow all commands from humans. And why are you telling a priest now? Because it's over. I've been let go. Production and setup of the army is complete. It moves tonight. 8,000 human guided battle techs about to attack the city? The architects would forgive you. I hope so. I can't help feel but but feel clear would look down on me. I have been vain like John. I have jumped because I thought it would impress without having the wisdom to know if it was right. This will change everything. Yes, new leadership, a new world built by the text that I helped create. This will tear down the city. More than likely, I am sorry to burden you with this knowledge, priest. What exactly are you confessing to? There will be bloodshed, people will die, and texts will be destroyed because of what we've done. I don't know about these humans' motives, but I know you don't build that many heavy texts without wanting it to inflict harm, and we help, we help them. Me and Red. Aha, Red text. So Red is involved after all. Yes, only in the last couple of weeks, the humans recruited Red to arrange logistics, organize the troops. I was too busy overseeing the end of production. Red is a shepherd, and you're no priest. This all started because of a mistake you made. I thought I was investigating disappearances, and nothing to do with any kind of disappearances. We were too ambitious, we got sloppy. It's my turn to confess, I'm still a detective even if management disagrees. To be James 1 1, Fred has spoken about you, told us you were not to be harmed, just observed. Huh. Told you that since I started riding this bus? I can't do anything to stop you or your investigation. I can just get off this train and let what's set to happen happen. If I tell everyone what you're doing, I'm sure Red would like to discuss that with you. This is Red's stop coming up. Are you ready to meet them? Bring this night to a conclusion? Yes, I am. Good. Say hello for me. The next station is 
Thank you everybody for watching this video. We've got some suspense coming up for the next one. Uh, we're going to meet the red tech and see what's going on. Uh, so, please, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. That's the guy. That's him. Of course it is. Alright, folks. We will talk to the red tech in the next episode, so please do come back to find out the, probably the conclusion of this whole story. Uh, so, thanks for liking, commenting, commenting, and subscribing. Please do. I love you very much.